Brrr, it is cold. And I still have not found my deer for the season. Uh, I'm gonna have to go get some hot chocolate. Oh, let's get to it. Oh man, you know that feeling when you finally start feeling your uh, feet and your hands for the first time after they've been frozen? Oh, that hurts so bad. I need some hot chocolate. Oh man, that's good. All right, so what we want to do today is first clear out our lot. Hopefully I can go pick up a snow plow for my truck here. So I think a one will work nicely on our uh, Ford truck here, but I'm not positive it will fit. So I'm going to go to the dealer and see if they have one for me because I need something to blow off the lot with or uh, push off the lot. Hope I can use my kid steer, but it might take a while. I'm just going to use that for the finesse part. But let's go see if that truck will start. That might be an issue. I already cleared off around my house here, so I think I did a pretty good job. I just froze my feet doing it in my hands. So let's get in this truck. Nope. Nope. Oh, there it goes. All right, so we're running now. So I just love the look when everything has snow on it. We got about six inches of snow here, so we don't have a lot of snow, but it's enough to make the roads nice and slippery. I'd like to clear off our uh, truck lot there just so we have a nice clear spot and it doesn't get all slushy and nasty once it, the temperature rises a little bit. And other news, we finally sealed the deal. We own a pig barn now, and my favorite, we own a brand new heated shop. Just love this heated shop. Can't wait to start filling this up with all my equipment and tools. Such a giant shop to have. And it's all heated and it's all mine let's shut the door before we let all the heat out it's not cheap to heat a shop this big uh, I would like to blow off a little bit of the loading area of this pig so we can hopefully haul some pigs after we get done moving our snow off of our uh, lot there so the snow plows were out early today. Looks like we have a little bit of drifting on the roads here, but mostly they're pretty much cleared off. Another reason why I wanted to go to town, I really want to see, just to make sure, see if it's safe for me to drive the semi and trailer. I did ask Jake if I can borrow his uh, cattle semi-trailer and he uh, said we can so hopefully we can borrow that to go pick up some pigs here this afternoon. Alright we're just pulling in here looks like they have a giant bulldozer there. Don't know what that's about. Maybe they have a major snow moving business. They hooked me up. Got a snow plow. It's not the most fanciest snow plow out there. I kind of like how it has the the sticks. So you kind of lose a snow plow when you have the hood. It's kind of hard to see over here. At least uh, my height, at least. I have a hard time seeing uh, just past the hood there. So these sticks really help me. Just to show me, kind of give me an estimate of where that snow plow is. Uh, I think they did a great job of hooking this up. Like I said, it's not the fanciest, but it will work to clear off the snow a couple times a year for me. Alright, let's go to Casey's and see if they have something hot for us to drink. So I kind of feel bad for Casey, so I'm going to do him a huge favor. I'm going to clear off some snow. There we go, want to turn it that way. 
I uh, don't know exactly where this curb thing is. So I found out I definitely don't want to put this snow plow too far in the ground. I lose all steering. I do have some pretty good tires for snow removal here. So they've definitely got some traction. The only thing is when they get in deep snow, they kind of get a little bit slippery and sloshy. But they're pretty good. Uh, this uh, means it's a Power Stroke 7.3 hat or one ton truck it is definitely got the weight to push behind this snow plow like I said uh, I'm just doing this for a favor for uh, this place just because I like it so much I'm just gonna clear it off a little bit you see we're just clearing it off I'm not the best at snow removal so probably should have started at one side but it's so thick that kind of have to keep making pass at it but they're not paying me to do this so what can they expect so now I'm just cleaning up this edge a little bit here and I think that will call it good I think I made enough of the mess of their uh, parking spot here uh, hopefully I at least get a free hot chocolate out of this I did not bring a shovel so I can't scoop this stuff out I got mostly around their gas pumps and I tried to clean the big snow drifts out. Like I said, I didn't do a great job, but I guess it's better, I hope. We are just clearing off our road here. Uh, it's basically just going to have a center lane of traffic, hopefully all the way to our house. So I'm probably going to clear off all the way to my place here, and then I'm going to clear off my lot. So I'm trying to get all this. It's kind of pulling up weird. There we go. Now we just back it up and do it on the way down again. Don't want to get it too far down because then it starts working the steering for your s itself. Definitely don't want to make that. Not a huge necessity being we've got a four-wheel drive truck clearing off your driveway, but just kind of a nice while we're at it. We are gonna just clear all the way up to our beautiful new buildings. Uh, this 7.3 is just making easy work out of all this. Not hard. We're not going to try to finesse all the snow right here, so don't have to do a great job. I just want to clear it off to this road. Alright, now we're just going to plow this path a little bit wider so it can fit a 18-wheeler. Like I said, this snow probably ain't going to last forever, so we're not going to do a beautiful job at it. Just pretty enough for government work, let's say. There we go, we're just making another pass right here to our house. Just widen it slightly, because remember, we got to take an 18-wheeler, so... Gotta have a little bit wider for them. Alright, now we will pull in to our lot. Alright, so we are spreading it now on our lot here. Not having the easiest time because of the terrain difference. We're gonna push it right in front of the International. It's not gonna be running much here. The International is just not going to run much in the winter time, so we'll use it in the summertime, but not much use for it in the winter. Old truck is making quick work of this area here. Really like this new snow plow. Working nicely. It's weird we picked up the butt end of that uh, our Chevy truck there. Alright, so I think we made a big enough mess with the truck. I'm gonna 
get our old 4020 out and try to clean this up a little bit because it's not up to my snuff. So now the question is, will the 4020 start? Oh no, we got some snow in here. Uh-oh. Might need to get it plugged in and get the starter on there. There we go. Got it started up that time. So now we gotta put this load of tractor to its paces. Try to pick up all this snow here. I am doing a terrible job. You can see that. There we go. We're cleaning up now. So, just trying to get the the little stuff that the plow left. I'm not gonna try to make it spotless by any means, but I'm gonna clean it up as best as I can. We're still running with this old tractor. I really like using this tractor over that uh, the skid steer. I just don't think that's a... So it sure doesn't take long to fill up this bucket on this loader tractor, so... Probably be better if I just had uh, some type a, uh, a plow put to the front of it, but... We're getting it done. It's definitely cleaning this area up, which I, that's what I was trying to do. So we're still trying to push all this snow around. Uh, sometimes, you know, when you just think you're making more of a mess than what you're fixing, that's what I feel like right now. But I guess we are still slowly putting a dent in it. There's a lot of snow we're trying to deal with here. I really wish I had a, like, a snow bucket. So snow buckets are a little bit bigger usually because snow doesn't weigh as much as, like, dirt or manure. That way you can get a little bit more in your bucket. So you get up to your loader's recommended weight at least. go got that cleared out now well that's the best it's gonna be because I literally cannot feel my feet I'm freezing cold on this open cab loader tractor it is so cold man I'm gonna have to go sit in the heater for a while I think I'm gonna go sit in my little uh, shack here warm till I can feel my feet and they stop tingling and burning sensation and then I need to figure out a way to feed the pigs you ever sit in your truck when you're so cold just to warm up your hands and feet oh it's so cold I'm so glad I got this hot chocolate from Casey's Ooh. all right Let's get to hauling some pig feed so we can go get some piggies. So the idea is to get this international put on our gravity wagon. Only issue is, some reason I was dumb enough to put a giant mound of snow in front of the international. So we're gonna see if we can do a little bulldozing. First thing, Will this start? It wanted to start there. It sure did. Woo! Start it up. I better let this thing warm up for a little while. Alright, we had it running for a little while here. So we're going to try to launch over this mound of snow here. Woo! Made it. We made it. All right, now we got the gravity wagon hooked up. Now we got some a little bit of grain. 
in our uh, silos over here. So we're going to go over there and fill it up. Put some corn in here. I just want to be able to feed the pigs right when we uh, purchase them so we don't have any issue there. Alright, we didn't plow the snow over here, so now we gotta, hopefully, we don't lose traction. This is a heavy tractor, so we probably won't have any issues until we load that gravity wagon. We might have to dig the snow all the way down to the rock. Alright, we got this uh, gravity wagon filling up with corn here. Alright, now let's put this uh, tarp on. Alright, now the tarp is on. We're good. Well, I'm going to pull it over here and then uh, shut it off for a little while. This is just getting the feeders ready. I'm going to try to fill them up as much as possible. I don't know how much it'll take right now. Alright, so we got it over here by the feeder. So we might have to we'll put some more in once we uh, get the pigs over here. So the only issue now is we have to walk back in the cold to our farm. Oh man. All right, now we got to start this old beast up. There we go. Start it up. Let's let this thing warm up a little bit. All right, so we are off. So we're going to go pick up a uh, cattle trailer from Jake's uh, ranch up here. Uh, going to kind of take it slow. I'm sure glad that we uh, plowed this off, this little gravel spot, because we would be sliding all over the place. You see that? That's a cement truck. You stay out of their way. Man, does this semi roll coal when it's in the winter time. So, you're probably wondering, why do we have this semi back? So, we finally got this out of the impound lot. There was no major issues. Uh, they didn't trash the truck. They were just trying to resell it. So, almost perfect conditions or conditions that we left it in at least. They did leave it pretty, uh, let's just say they kind of put a lot of trash and they're messy people that stole it but we cleaned it up it's nice and good now uh, good thing because we need it today uh, we definitely got to take it easy going around in the snow here so let's go over here man these guys have two trailers wow that's crazy they must have a huge cattle farm going on here. So we're pulling this old cattle trailer in the snow. A little bit hard making way, but we're getting it done. So, kind of nice. I like how it looks on this truck, that's for sure. So we're going to head up there by actually Austin's place. Ooh, got to make it slow. This is nice and slow. Ooh. Never know when them snowy patches like that can get a little icy. So we're going to head up there to Austin's place. Uh, by Austin's place. I think it's called Cattleman's. Uh, Cattleman's actually sells pigs. Even though their name is Cattleman's. But we're going to purchase some uh, breeder pigs from them. So hopefully I'm going to have to figure out a place to put all the breeder pigs I'm gonna have so uh, I know I can't keep them together so the big barn we have now is kind of a fattening barn so I kind of have to figure out a place or something to do with the breeders I definitely gonna have to put up a barn I think I'd like to put up a little bit more storage for our equipment and everything out there that would prevent us from having to put everything into our uh, shop basically so we can keep that a lot of area for that for projects and winter uh, repair I think this is our turn right here turn in 
really admiring this truck here. So it's actually doing pretty good going through this snow. I'm going at a pretty slow rate. So this is some pretty thick stuff right here. Woo! Big snow right here. So definitely got to take it easy right here. Uh, this is one of them times where you really don't want to lose your forward momentum, so you start uh, getting the wheels all slippery and slicking. Hopefully the train isn't coming, alright. So it looks like this gas station, the snow needs to be removed off that too, so... I think I'm gonna turn... Yep, this is it right here. So this is right where Austin lives, actually. Whew! You can hear that train whistle? I just missed that thing. So this is the part where I'm a little bit scared I might get stuck. So I'm going to definitely go a little bit faster than what I usually go for this. So where is their loading area? There it is. We'll just have to back it up right there. All right, we got it backed up and we got it filled. Look at all the pigs in there. They're all packed in there. So we got 36 pigs on this trailer. So got a fair amount. So I'm hoping to take them directly to our warm barn to keep them alive. So luckily we don't have too far to go so I don't think we'll have an issue with them getting terribly cold but that's still got to be cold in that trailer so let's get to our barn it's always an issue getting started in this snow come on let's go you can do it come on truck looks like we got her started so we there we go. Yep. So we're actually going to take a different route. We're going to turn right here and take this shortcut back to our place. So it really scares me sometimes. You never know when you might hit a drift or something where it will plow through this truck and the truck will get stuck. Especially with all these pigs on the back. You don't want to get stuck with this truck now. Alright, driving through town here. Looks like the snow removal truck might have got stuck right there. Don't know the issue right he's having. And I got plowed into the corner right there. Ooh, looks like they still got a little snow here in town, Burksville. Surprise, uh, maybe it's because the snow truck died on the corner there. So we are just about to our uh, pig lot here. So this truck is handling really well in the snow, which I'm kind of surprised. So pretty glad. I definitely don't want to get loose control and put it off in the ditch and lose some uh, pigs to a frostbite. We're backing it up here. Let me tell you, it is way harder to handle an 18-wheeler when you got snow to deal with. It's already hard enough to back up 18-wheeler, especially with snow. Definitely hard. Alright, so let's unload all these uh, pigs before we put them through any more uh, cold snap. Alright, so let's go see how they're doing here. Open up that door. Look like they're doing... Oh no! I almost left that back door open. Whew! We would have had pigs all over the place if I would have caught that. That's why you always uh, triple check all your work. Definitely gotta shut that front door too. Looks like that pig might be stuck in that feeder right there. Are you alright? Don't look alright. Alright, so let's get that truck and go get another load of pigs. 
So we're driving with the truck here. Whoo! Gotta watch out for them cars. Guess I gotta drive better. Man, driving like a maniac there. I'm surprised that uh, pond isn't frozen over yet. It's kind of odd. No, better slow down a little bit. Going a little bit too fast for these roads. Driving by the beautiful countryside. I just love driving in the country when everything is covered with snow. Some people like the hot states and I, I sure do miss the cold states. I like experiencing all four seasons. Don't want to just experience just the summer. want to experience the winter with the summer, the fall and the spring. All right, so we got another semi load. So mostly breeders, got a few male in here. So, but most of them are just females that we'll use to sire some young little piggies. But now we just got to pull this back to our shop quickly so they don't get too cold in our trailer we're gonna take the same way back you can kind of see our tracks there where we went so I'm really amazed that this truck is doing so good in this snow I'm surprised we haven't gotten stuck yet pretty surprising to me oh no I'm losing oil pressure uh oh Oh no. Oh man, I'm losing power too. Uh oh. Uh oh, this is an issue. Oh man. So close. I really don't want to leave these pigs out in the cold, so I'm gonna tr try to limp it back to our barn. Oh man. Oh man, uh oh. We might have a hard time getting up this hill. Oh man, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, 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 oh man, we are not going good. Oh man, that looks like the engine temperature's rising. Oh. Man, I just don't know what to do. Really, we're just about not even a mile from the barn there. So close. Whew. Oh, 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 man, it just quit. Oh, man. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. So oh man, this thing it's it's done. Man, we're going to have to call some help. We're going to have to call a wrecking company. Somebody's going to have to help us because we can't leave these pigs out in the cold like this. So we'll lose some pigs. And we just purchased them. That will not be good for us. Our banker will not like that. So whew, we got to do something about that. But look who just showed up. So Maryberry Wrecking Company, luckily they showed up to help us get this truck off of the, out of the highway here off the road and back to the barn so we can get these pigs offloaded and hopefully we can get uh, our truck our semi to Mike's garage so he could check it out all right so the truck is backing up there so I'm hoping he doesn't get stuck while he's getting backed up we got the truck hooked up I'm just making sure everything's good I was a little bit concerned with this uh, hitch point here just seems like uh, it's kind of close so I'm gonna have them lower the front end of the truck slightly just too much uh, stress in on that hitch I think especially for a loaded trailer luckily the Mayberry police came to uh, 
blocked the road for us here. Thank them for that. Good police officer there, but really need to get these pigs to the barn. So hopefully I can limp this truck all the way there. We'll see if we can get it done. All right, so that was some impressive driving by the Mayberry Heavy Rescue Company there. So they were able to back this truck up. Hopefully I did not damage the trailer too much there. I know I took a little bit because that's a hard, it took a lot of back and forth to get it. It's hard enough to back up an 18-wheeler, let alone another, uh, what is this, a four-axle truck backing up an 18-wheeler, so that was impressive. But now let's get these pigs offloaded and we are good to go, and then I'm going to give them some feed, but thank you all for watching. And I will see you later here in Iowa. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.